hey what's up family welcome back to the channel we thank you guys for tuning in again for another video with us don't forget to like share and subscribe today we're going to be building off what we did last week with the ranch we're going to be doing fried chicken let's get it all right to your cleaned and washed wings you're going to go ahead and add some cajun seasoning and yes that much Cajun seasoning. Now, the good thing about this Cajun seasoning is there's no MSG. There's no real high salt content, so it's not salty, right? From there, you're going to go ahead and hit it with some smoked paprika. After that, you're going to hit it with some garlic powder. Then you're going to hit it with some seasoning salt. Now, you're going to go a little bit light on the seasoning salt, and you're going to go a little bit light on this next item, the garlic salt, because, they, again, these are high salt high sodium content items so you don't want to overdo it and make your chicken salty now that you've added all your seasoning you're going to go ahead and mix it together all right once you've mixed it together you're going to grab you some yellow mustard your mustard is going to be your binder to bind your seasoning to your chicken and then to bind the buttermilk to the seasoning all right so yeah you're going to add in a good bit i, I can't even give you a measurement of how much i use because i just kept going until i felt like it was enough for the four pounds of wings that i had Right? All right, bet. From there, you're going to go ahead and grab you some buttermilk. Any brand works. I don't even know that brand. I only see that brand at Walmart. I don't really see that brand at Publix. But again, any brand of buttermilk works. Um, and then from there, you're not going to season the buttermilk because there is seasoning already on the chicken. The only thing you're going to add to the buttermilk is hot sauce. Now, this step is optional because if you don't like heat, then you don't want to add hot sauce. If you like heat, then you add hot sauce. That simple. All right? Now you see how the buttermilk went from white, how it was in the bottle. Now it's like a creamy, grayish color. Now you know you've, that's seasoned right there. All right, now you're going to go ahead and get you some cornstarch or potato starch, you know, whatever kind of one of those you have. And you're going to get you some AP flour. You're going to put those in a deep bowl, something big enough so that even when you drop the chicken in, it doesn't get everywhere. You're going to mix those two together. Then you're going to go ahead and start grabbing your chicken wings out the um, buttermilk mixture after they've been sitting for at least 30 minutes and you go to drop your chicken in and start adding that cornstarch and flour breading once you've done that you're going to let those rest for an additional 15 to 20 minutes so that the cornstarch starts to dry now while i'm pouring this oil in you guys let me know what you like do you like drumsticks do you like wings let me know down in the comments all right, from there, you're going to go ahead and get your oil into the deep fryer. Get it at 350 and get your oil going. Once your oil gets to 350, now again, this is where that kitchen thermometer comes in. If you don't have a kitchen thermometer, you can take a little bit of that uh, dried flour corn so to drop it in. If it starts to fizzle and sizzle, then boom, your oil is ready to go. Go ahead and drop your chicken in for 8 to 10 minutes. If you're doing this on the stove, then it may be a little bit longer because you can't cover it because the air fryer has uh the deep fryer has slots on it you can cover it makes it cook faster you're going to cook your chicken until they are golden brown go ahead and get your chicken wings on a baking rack so that they get that nice crisp you don't want to put them on a paper towel because if you put them on a paper towel the paper towel is going to absorb the moisture and it's going to trap the moisture underneath the chicken and then the chicken are not going to be nice crunchy they're going to be soft and soggy all right once you take them out you just sprinkle a little bit of salt that's a nice little thing you know Hint right there that a lot of people don't really tell you. Drink a little bit of salt on it. So you're going to get some nice flavor on the outside. As you can see, nice, crunchy, crispy chicken. We serve this with some rolls, fries. Don't mind my fries. I put Cajun seasoning on my fries. I like Cajun seasoning on a lot of things. Um, but go ahead and try the recipe. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.